Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, just a short video on um, troubleshooting. And the radio in question is uh, Radiola AWA uh, Model 92, made between 1941 and 46. And, um, you know, not bad condition. There's, there's some work done on the case, but, you know, let's face it, it's, uh, I don't know, uh, 70 to possibly 80 years old. At least 70, of course. Um, we'll get that out. Now, what was the problem? Well, there's the chassis, and it powered up straight away, and um, there had one issue, one issue, and that was the volume pot had no effect on the output, so it was just blaring out um, the radio station, pretty much full volume, and I thought to myself, Okay, it's got to be a component somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Um, mine went to IF cans, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I, I um, recapped and changed a lot of resistors, and um, I still had the issue. No control over the volume. So I went to the net, and um, there were a number of suggestions, but um, one that caught my eye was, the fellow said, check your valves. But anyway, this is where the solution li uh, lay. I'll just turn the radio on, I should have turned it on before, and I'll give you an example. So uh, what I did, I was um, swapping out the valve, started with the mixer valve and worked my way through. And, um, come on, here we go. This final report into the woolen train derailment that you might remember uh, from back in 2020. Two people died. So that's... An example of what it was doing for about two days. Um, this switch there as well, and that's um, that switches between uh, radio and uh, the uh, phono pickups. There. Oh, and there goes my antenna. So what was the problem? That valve, six B six, and I I pulled it out. And as I always do, I just always check the uh, the markings on it. And I don't know if you can see it. But to me, that looks like a 6U7. So I thought, okay, okay, um, let's put in a 6B6. And see what we get. And of course, as you can guess, that was the problem. So... I'm not sure how it was um, working, but somehow that 6U7 was just um, amplifying the, um, the signal and just passing it somehow straight to the output valve. That's my thoughts on it. Changes, I'm sorry, to the... is part of the problem. Angus Mitchell is the chief... There you go. The so... Angus Mitchell, good to talk to you. That is one solution probably unique to this radio, um, where you've got a, an ineffective volume pot. It just blares it out, and uh, you've got no control over it. And that wasn't too bad, considering the volume there without the antenna, but it's a hell of a lot louder. Anyway, I just wanted to highlight this, guys, because um, I don't recall coming across it like coming across that particular situation before, and um, I thought it was quite interesting. So there we go, a nice, easy fix. Um, just turned out to be the wrong valve. There you go. So, thanks a lot. <laughs> Hope you found it interesting. I did, <laughs> when I finally figured it out. Anyway, I will see you all soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.